Welcome to all for this new lecture on Meissner effect. In their last lecture, we have talked about a very special property of superconductors that is zero resistance. This shows that superconductors have extraordinary electrical properties when we keep those materials at low temperature. Superconductors also give very special behavior under magnetic field. The behavior of these conduct superconductors in, magnet in magnetic field we will discuss here which was discussed by Meissner. Following our, our out in this lecture, we will learn about development of magnetic effect of on the superconductor and the possible application of this. The behavior of magnetic field is as dramatic as electric field. So, with the end of this lecture, you will be able to learn many interesting facts about superconducting behavior and their relation with magnetic field. This lecture covers effective learning skills will help you to solve problems through applications of theory and practical concepts. They will also help you to for critical and innovative thinking skills. Many applications have been developed like maglev trains and other behavior using this Meissner effect. You will also learn about critical thinking and analytical ability with this lecture. Many things have been developed and still it has lot of potential. So, this will be discussed in this. Since the discovery in 1911 by Kamerling Owens, as we have discussed in detail in the last lectures, superconductivity has been an important area of research, not only for physicists but also for engineers. Starting with the discovery of mercury as a superconducting materials, the list of superconductors have grown a lot, from metals to alloys, from low temperature TCs to high TCs. Now, the list include more than conductive materials as many as ceramics also and exhibit superconducting properties. Although many metals are conductive, not all conducting materials are superconducting and even some insulators are able to become superconductor under some special conditions. This has shown a very interesting properties. 
conductors may not be superconductors at low temperature but the insulators may give superconducting properties under the special conditions i think all of you are agree with me that a superconductors have gained lot of interest due to their ability to drop their resistivity to zero when we reduce the temperature and that temperature is we termed as critical temperature or a transition temperature the distinction this defines how a semiconductor behaves the properties of superconductors are different above and below the critical temperature we have discussed a lot of about electrical properties but here we are opening another dimension the properties of superconductors under magnetic field one of the phenomena that occurs in superconductors below the transient temperature is called mesner effect and this effect we will learn from here match that effect to study the special property of these superconducting materials we have to go through with the basic properties and before this see this and then we will discuss what is it very interesting work here actually that material was superconducting material and you observe that the material is floating in the atmosphere hanging there like a flavation this is called the actual term but why this is happening that is as first given by mesner and this is due to a particular mag magnetic behavior that is called diamagnetic behavior due to which it is repelling the material and that is was first discussed by mesner with such experiments we can verify that the magnetic properties are also dramatic as their electrical properties yes it is very fascinating to see that electrical properties the zero resistance but here the next property we are observing if you reduce the tc and the material is below tc then the properties are very different the property can only not only be accompanied accounted by assumption that a superconductor is a normal conductor with zero electrical resistivity but a unique 
magnetic properties of superconductors are central to the characterization of superconducting states. So, this is very important for us. When we place a specimen, superconducting specimen in a magnetic field and then when we cool that specimen through a transient temperature, so at below transient temperature when the material gives superconducting behavior, the magnetic flux originally present in the system now ejected from the specimen and this is called Meissner effect. This was first discovered by the German scientist Meissner and Oceanfield. On the left hand side I am uh, showing the Meissner and the right hand side the pick of ocean field in 1933. So, after 1911 the second important thing that came into picture the magnetic field, the dramatic behavior of superconductors in magnetic field. You are having your material, you keep your material in the magnetic field. If you are not reducing the temperature nothing will happen. But if you reduce the temperature and the material becomes superconductors below temperature, then you observe surprising behavior. The magnetic lines that is passing through this now will not pass through this. And as a matter of fact, you will saw this type of behavior. All the lines will eject out like this from the system. It is an experimental fact that a perfect bulk superconductor in a weak magnetic field will act as perfect diamagnetic material with zero magnetic induction in the interior. We have shown this in figure. In the figure you can see when we keep the material in the magnetic field all the lines passing through that like this. But when you reduce the temperature and the temperature which is lower than Tc, then something interesting happens. The magnetic field lines now will eject out, will not pass through this. Here you can see, you can see the curvature, everything is eject out that is called Meissner effect and the Meissner effect is a very special property of the materials, superconducting materials. Eject out magnetic field means the diamagnetic behavior, the material which repels other the field lines that is called diamagnetic behavior that is shown by superconductor. I feel we must know uh, what is diamagnetic behavior to understand this phenomenon. Diamagnetic materials are those materials that repel by magnetic field. When we apply magnetic field on these materials, this creates an induced magnetic field in them in opposite direction and due to this they cause 
a repulsive force this is not the case with paramagnetism and ferromagnetism in that case they are attracted by magnetic field so when we are saying that a superconductor be become diamagnetic it means they try to repel the magnetic field at below tc at above tc they are normal material so they will not do such type of things so there is a conversion here below tc we must keep in mind we always take uh, the superconducting state as an ordered state of conduction electrons in metal the order is in the form of loosely associated pair of electrons and this state is termed as order state where the when we keep the temperature below the transition temperature the electron become order and when we keep above this they become disordered so this is another way of expressing the things for superconductors here it is shown the difference between perfect diamagnet and superconductors on the left hand side you can see the perfect diamagnet diamagnet materials already had steady magnetic field through it and even if we cool the material to a zero resistance state they become in a perfect diamagnet the magnetic field will be expected to stay the same there is no change in the magnetic field with these materials but this is not the case with superconducting materials in superconducting materials initially the magnetic field is different it can pass through the superconducting material but when we reduce the temperature and move to transition temperature then below that that temperature it actively exclude any magnetic field present this make the phase change to superconducting state so this is the biggest change with superconducting states and perfect diamagnetic materials superconducting states have much more interesting behavior than this so we can conclude that the mesmer effect suggests the perfect diamagnetism in an essential property of superconducting states and this also helped us to understand the behavior of superconductors if we keep the superconducting material in magnetic field ba then the magnetization will be 4 pi m in the superconducting state but as we have discussed in the previous slides when we reduce the temperature below tc the total magnetic field associated with this superconducting material will be zero so b will be zero and if you just go through this equation this equation is for any material here b is the 
magnetization and this is applied field. Now, if you keep this as a 0 here, then this will convert into this equation and the m upon b a will be equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi. Something is magnetized and left in the superconducting material. We can also see both the things in SIO CGS unit, but the important point that must keep that magnetization is there and that will store in the superconducting materials. Our Meissner effect emphasizes here that the bulk superconductor behaves as the B is equal to 0 inside the specimen. B is 0 and for this some M is there and it behaves as a diamagnetic medium. The zero magnetic field inside a superconductor is different than per perfect diamagnetism and this was arrived with zero electrical resistance. So, zero resistance and the perfect diamagnetism is there. So, the current loop to make it to have if you try to magnetize a superconductor current loop would be generated and it exactly cancel the imposed field as per Lange's law. But if the material already had a steady magnetic field through it and when it was cooled through the superconducting transition, the magnetic field expected to remain inside this and that is the reason the diamagnetic material, the superconducting material will have magnetic field with that. And if there is no change in applied magnetic field, there would be no generated voltage as we know from the Faraday law to derive current. Even in the perfect conductor, hence the active exclusion of magnetic field must be considered for zero resistance. So, that is important. In perfect diamagnetism, there may not be any magnetic field, but here it collects that magnetic field. A conductor always opposes any change in external applied magnetic field and the circulating current will be induced to oppose the magnetic field as per Lange law. So, in a solid material and a perfect conductor would be a perfect diamagnetic material. That is the induced current in it would meet no resistance. So, there would persist in whatever magnitude necessary to perfectly cancel the external field. We can say that the superconductors also a perfect diamagnet. As there is no resistance, so they have persistent current there all the time. The result B is equal to 0 cannot be derived from the characterization of superconductor as a medium of zero resistivity. We know from Ohm's law that V is equal to I R and here we have used E is equal to rho j. But suppose the resistivity goes to 0, rho goes to 0, then 
e must be zero because j is infinite here current is infinite and if e is zero as we know that from the maxwell equation dv by dt is proportional to curl of e so the zero resistivity also implies dv upon dt will be equal to zero so we can say b is not equal to zero but change in magnetic field is zero the result predicts that the flux through the metal cannot change on cooling through the transition if we keep the material superconducting material along the direction of magnetic field and we reduce the temperature then the material contains some current that is shown here and so the current is there and the material is perfectly dimensional that is very interesting thing about the superconductors and may be used in many applications here as we have discussed two important parameters magnetic field and temperature we should also keep in mind that these two things are interrelated each other the material will give superconducting states superconducting behavior when the material is below tc and in the at the same time having a particular magnetic field if you increase the magnetic field by a certain amount it again can turn into normal state the same thing is also with the temperature if the magnetic field you are applying it must be such that the material below the temperature is there so the magnetic material can be magnetic field can be destroyed by applying very high magnetic field so this should also be keep in mind the mesner effect can help us to develop many applications applications in which you can pull out magnetic fields application can be used to repel the material if the material is superconducting the magnetic field cannot pass through this if you are keeping it at lower temperature than transition so this can be used many purpose if you want to hover uh, some material in the air you can keep something uh, dimagnetic properties superconducting properties so this may many application may be developed here research may be done in this field so these are the one of the best area of research for application of magnetic field effects and transient temperature effects for of superconductors i have given here two questions for exercise why do superconductors float and is gold a superconductor justify your answers these are the references you can go through with this uh, either with this website reference or you can also go through with c kettle introduction to solid state physics thank you in this lecture we have studied about mesner effect effect of magnetic field and now we will use this effect to classify the semiconducting materials in the next lecture thank you